right, so here we are. We're approaching 40 years of Dollywood, and it was back in the 1980s when you met with the Hershen family, talked about this dream. Did you ever think Dollywood would become this popular? Well, I hoped that it would do good. I just remember the first day opening, I was scared to death that nobody was going to come. I kept looking at the parking lot, you know, like a kid having a party, you know, and you invite your friends and don't know if any of them show up. That's kind of how I felt then, and when I saw the cars all coming in, I was excited. But, of course, it's just been so great. Nobody could ever imagine it being like you know what it has become but that's because God has put all the right people in all the right places places at just the right time so we have a wonderful crew that have helped me build it all through the years and of course the Hershen family my partners they're just great to work with so it's been blessed and I'm just excited to see it I dream big I hope and expect things to do well that don't mean they always do but this one was a dream that just has been fulfilled ten times over saw Sherry Hershen earlier and she said I'm as excited today as I was on day one. I am too. It's 38 years when they, you know, when they said, well, this is our 38th season. I thought, how can that be? It just seems like such a short time. It really does. Of course, none of us want to admit that we're getting older, but really, it just does not seem like it. Just in, in my thinking, it feels like maybe 25 years at the most. But here we are, like you say, heading toward 40 years in the business, but I hope we'll be around a long time more. Uh, new investments coming to Dollywood, including Big Bear Mountain, a new resort. You just told us today about the new Dolly experience. Yeah, but that's going to be great. This creates 500 jobs additionally to what you're already employing here. You're the largest employer in the county. Well, I know, and that's a great feeling. Yeah, we actually have, we're one of the biggest employees in, uh, to employ people in the state of Tennessee, which makes me feel real proud. Because when we started Dollywood, that was one of the things that I wanted to do for here in this area was to provide jobs for my neighbors and friends and family. A lot of my family worked, you know, at Dollywood, either performing or in other jobs as well. But it makes me feel good to know that I've had a part in the growth of the area up here because this is my home. You know, I love it. I love being a Tennessee girl and especially a Smoky Mountain girl. Those are my next questions. Pigeon Forge, a $1.2 billion economy of, what, 6,000 people that actually live here. And Dollywood, a lot of people give the credit to. Well, there's a whole lot of people that do a whole lot of things, like I say, to make everything go well. But I, I get a lot of credit for a lot of things that a whole lot of other people do. Uh, and it's not really fair sometimes that I get, you know, so much credit for so much stuff that so many people do. But I'm proud, you know, to be uh, you know, kind of the person that can stand up there and, you know, brag about it and, and be the spokesperson. And so, but I really, I'm very proud of all the people Pigeon Forge, Sevierville, Gatlinburg, and you know the whole and you know the whole area around here. This is all my home. We got the county seat in Sevierville, and that was my address, you know. But Pigeon Forge was always like a a great place to you know to have. We used to come here as kids, and they didn't have enough stuff. And when I thought up you know the idea of going in business with the Hershens to have a park here. Uh, I thought this would be a wonderful thing, and it has been. It's been a great thing. Well, of course, the Smoky Mountains were here long before me, and they were. that was one of the reasons that made me think I needed to have a business here because of all the millions of people that the Smoky Mountains themselves bring in for the hiking and the camping and the beauty of that. So having a place here was just a no-brainer, really. But I'm just so happy to see that it's done so well, and I love working with all the people in Pigeon Forge. They're great, too. Do you realize how many people love to say, I'm from Sevierville, I'm from Sevier County, and that's the home of Dolly Parton? <laughs> well, that makes me feel good, yeah. So I'm, I'm one of those people. I'm from Sevierville, I'm Dolly Parton, and I'm proud to be from Sevierville. <laughs> uh, what's next for Dollywood? Any new big dreams and ideas? I know you're always dreaming up something. Oh, we're going to have new dreams all the time. We've got several more resorts that we hope to build and a campground at some point. And we'll continue to build rides and areas. We're continuing buying properties around here. We still have a lot of land that we haven't developed yet. So every year we get together and we brainstorm and we dream and we come up with, with the right things. So as you can see, our dream is doing good. I ask God to bless everybody that's, you know, that I work with and, uh, and to bless me as well. So, so far we're doing all right. I am doing a rock and roll album. I'm going to be a rock star at 77 years old, but I'm excited about it. Actually, we've been working on this since the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame when I, you know, when all that controversy, when I didn't want to be in it because I didn't think I earned it. And I'm like, my daddy, if somebody's going to give me something, I'm going to earn it, you know. And I thought, well, if I'm going to be in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, I've got to do an album. 
I'd often thought about it, but I didn't know if I'd ever really get around to it. But time is everything, and so I thought I got to do it. So I've got some wonderful, great iconic songs, wonderful iconic artists singing on it, and it'll be coming out in, in the fall. We're celebrating 50 years of I Will Always Love You. Speaking of albums, I know. Can you believe it? I, it's just hard to believe that song is 50 years old, but it has done well. Every you know, every 10 years or so, somebody else comes out with it as a as a hit, or we play it again. I'm the only person that's ever had a number one song twice, you know, with the same with the same song. I did it when I had it out first time in the whenever that was 50 years ago, <laughs> and uh, and then when I did Best Little Whorehouse in Texas with uh, Burt Reynolds, it became number one again. Then I had a top 10 song as a duet with uh, uh, with Vince Gill, and then of course uh, Whitney. And different people keep recording it, so it's just the song that just gonna live on forever, like nine to five, I guess. Fine by me. <laughs> I get my royalties. Lord knows I need the money. You know my famous joke: cause a lot to look this cheap. <laughs> and I saw just firsthand how much goes into your wardrobe. Yeah, you did an interview with Steve Summers, the guy that actually heads up the whole thing. He designs my things, and but he also has to make sure that all the people you know, get the things done on time, all the beading, all the, you know, making sure that the hair matches the, you know, Cheryl Riddle, who's my hairdresser, who you know, you know, they work really close together because it's all about the hair and the clothes when you're, when you look like me, <laughs> a drag queen.